They don't recall it. Come on, baby. Come on, True Shot Barrage. True Shot Barrage. That's a card right there. Hey, we took took down two Green Glade duos and forced their hand out of recall. We get the barrier. And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Zoe Pursuit, our last deck of the day. Um, kind of looking through the different cards we could play, there seems to be just a ton in these different regions of um, cards you can play. And they're all just kind of situational, right? So this is a difficult one to put together. This was a deck, though, that was submitted by a viewer. So I did, I did not build this list myself. I, I won't take credit for it if we do really well. Hopefully we do. Um, but you know, like you can see, like lots of lots of two ofs, basically because we do want to play twenty different cards with different names for uh, summoning catastrophe with our pursuit of perfection. Each turret that we will create and play with Heimerdinger will uh, be a different named card, so that will help get us to the twenty. There, are, yeah, there are just so many good cards that you can play in these regions. So if you're kind of thinking, well, why aren't we playing this card? Like I said, I didn't build this specific list, but if you want to play this this list later and you want to play any specific cards, feel free to change stuff out. You know, change stuff up to uh, whatever you like. Of course, you can watch the games here, see which ones, which cards uh, perform well and which cards underperform, and you know you can act accordingly. So let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and go through our deck here with Zoe and Heimer and Pursuit of Perfection. We're going over to the Lagoon of Legends for a nice pool party with these two champions, both having the pool party skin. So we'll have pool party Zoe and pool party Heimer. Irelia Azir. Okay, no, we're connected. I guess I'm only getting these three. I kind of want to keep the Aftershock. But, like, this can kill Aurelia, but we have to discard a card. Trail of Evidence can kind of be anything. Maybe we we'll just keep Trail of Evidence. Um, the Aftershock, I think, you know, can kill that landmark that they have. That could be pretty important. Alright, not a bad looking hand. Treasure Seeker. Ooh. That's gonna do a lot of damage. So I'm gonna play the Ballistic Bot so that uh, whenever I create the random card with the Trail of Evidence, um, that it adds to the augment of the bot. Start to peak's not bad. You need not follow, but you will witness. Alright, so I'm thinking here use the ignition so that now I'll have five mana next round. So I can thermo beam Azir for five. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. I guess if they do have um, Shapestone, though, this is going to be... Man, they had Shapestone. Should have done it for six. Uh, well, good game. Oh, yeah, they don't get to, they don't get to play the, the Blade Dance. All right. We're still kind of in there. We get the zero mana 1-1 one -one Challenger. What's up, fishies? Thanks for the resub there, fishies. I appreciate that. Oh, this this should be now three out of five. There we go. That's better. Happy Sunday. The cliffs 
themselves are my barracks. Okay, cool. Want to really down? Well, I don't love that. Five out of thirteen. And a one, two, three. The desert by my side. All right, so I can either hush field musicians, which would keep them from drawing a card. So they, they almost played that card, that's a spell. I kind of expect that to be the the recall blade dance. They attack in, recall with blade dance. That's what I'm kind of expecting it to be. I think I probably gotta play the goat. Just block. Huh. They're willing to kill that over their own sand soldier. So this is a spell, like I said, like this has got to be recall. Blade dance. That's that's what that would make sense for that card. If I gem, whatever I gem, huh? So I'll just wait on that. Does it say they'll probably recall whatever I gem? Timer. Yep, there it is. Double Emperor's dies. Field musicians. What's today's lesson? This is not gonna go good for me. Probably. Well, I don't really have any good ideas. I feel like I should probably hush either field musicians or Aurelia. Man, this Field Musicians just dominated this game. It's already drawn them two extra cards, which are these two. I'm about to be drawing a third extra card. Yep. <laughs> Thor says, I guess that's the fun police ending the pool party. Sounds about right. So basically what they're doing here is they're going to Blade Dance again and then replay Aurelia and Blade Dance again. Alright, own one. Alright, Jarvan Shen. These kind of decks have always been tough for smaller Targon, Piltover, and Zon. Like, Heimerdinger wants to just stay and play all the time, and so um, challengers are pretty rough for Heimerdinger. So, like, scre like, Screeching Dragon, right? Like, how do we kill a Screeching Dragon? I don't know. Like, that's a card we don't want to see. So. Hopefully no Screeching Dragon. Hopefully no Shen. Or Jarvan, or Screeching Dragon. 
rivers shape the land and give it life. What if it helps? <laughs> You're in over your head. I'm innocent. What form will the waters right, cool. take? Waters are still. They get to draw a spell, but we also drew a card with that. They swim within the flows of magic. <laughs> well, we found a couple of cards, Thermo, Sunburst, that can actually kill some of those cards. We talked about how it's really hard to kill. Zoe! River shape the land and give it life. Zoe's not great against Sharp Sight, but, you know, it's still Zoe. We're gonna play Zoe. Mm. I'm thinking about taking the other Zoe and using that as the um, Sleepy Trouble Bubble and just stunning the River Shaper so it doesn't get to attack. Thinking about doing that. It's either that or take Star Shaping. You know, take the hit, be able to star shaping next round and like get like a really big celestial, a powerful celestial card, right? Like it's one of those two options. So like let them hit me or get a powerful celestial card. Like and get one or stop them from hitting me. All right, I'll go with this star shaping. So obviously they have sharp sight. So attacking with Zoe is not a good idea. I, walk the space between I could have a just attack. I should have opened attack with these three twos though. That's what I should have done. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know why I passed. I should have done that. So this will bait out a barrier card. Oh wow. Or not. I think they'd play a barrier and then I'd miss a shot. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. But now we don't they don't have the mana for sharp sight now that they played this bright seal protector. So that's good. We get to hit him, make a super cool star chart. Which is by definition super cool. I wish I gemmed this mountain goat. So we keep them from drawing a card if they want to play Sharp Sight or Twin Disciplines to save it. I still have the goat. Yeah, so get Twin Disciplines out of their hand. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna spend my whole turn this round level up Zoe. I guess deny is really likely for Sunburst, isn't it? That's good. Well, this gets through barrier, like so, so Spirit's Refuge, like the different barrier cards, that gets through the barrier cards. I love Supernova in this matchup, but I am worried about Deny, so I guess I'm going to take... I have all these cards that like already eat up Denies anyway, I suppose, but I'm going to take this Destroyer. Break their spirits and their swords.
They're playing either two or three denies. That also just shows the problem of playing Pursuit of Perfection, right? Like, we just had a bunch of Pursuit of Perfections in hand. We couldn't do anything with. Or wait, are we 0-2 now? I guess we're 0-2, aren't we? Not 0-1. Sorry, my record thing was messed up. Yeah, because we lost to Aurelia Zier as well. Okay, please go away. Sorry, Pursuit of Perfection, you're a cool card and everything, but... You, we really need to stop drawing you. When it gets to, like, turn 22, then you can show up. I'm going to keep the Heimer. I think that having all the turrets could be very important. Anything else? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you going to do? Pursuit of Perfection just wants to be here real bad. Alright, set up a prediction. Here we go, one minute prediction. Started. This person better not have shape stone. Just let this happen. Yay, no shape stone. I'll pass. Because next round I can get the extra 2 1. Mm. Alright, we're killing one of them now. Aftershock. Every blade, every beat in its place. There's the recall cards that if I aftershock the Aurelia, they can recall. I think I need to aftershock this Emperor's dies. I don't know if this is even worth that. Definitely worried about this Green Glade duo. Okay. That can deal with Green Glade duo ish. They don't recall it. Come on, baby. Come on, True Shot Barrage. True Shot Barrage. That's a card right there. Hey, we took took down two Green Glade duos and forced their hand out of recall. We get the barrier. Stand behind me. They won't hurt you. If they hurt you, I'd never forgive myself. Are these all blade dances? Gross. Oh, why didn't I block with Heimer? I should be blocked with Heimer. It is a very interesting solution. It's gonna 
be 11. So I need two more power turrets to level up Heimer. We're going to go quick attack turret. I don't have another celestial card. We have to behold a celestial card for the other two. All right, so Mortal Fire can do some blocking. Yeah, so I was definitely thinking about doing the Severum on the seven one. Yeah, the life steal the Severum, the seven one. But if they just have another, you know, recall card, they just block recall. That could get pretty messy. So I decided to go this route instead. Oh, why am I not just blocking with the 2-1? Because I'm just going to cover it up. I guess we're going to try this first. Yeah, let's, let's try this first. Alright, cool. Now I can, like, lifesteal this floor be gone. Almost did the, the gifts from beyond. United in war. Down to nine. That's my cue. Flow. Nothing to nothing. So ordinary. <laughs> yep. That will be game. All right, full party getting our first win. Zoe. All right. Of course, I was going to just go with the other elusive. And we're one and two. All right, got a win. We got a resub. I think, no, brand new sub, Ami Power, with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Ami Power. Thanks for that support. I appreciate it. All right, got a two minute prediction started as well. Ami Power, come and clutch. What are we playing against? The One Ruined King? Viego? All right, we got the Ruined King. Heimer! Yes! Yeah, I love those shades for Heimer. Looks so cool. Heimer's just chilling with the shades. Possible they have death mark and you know, maybe they're thinking about death marking. They're three D glasses. Things wearing three D glasses to the beach. Well, look who finally decides to show up. Old pursuit of perfection. The whole world would know my language. Whoa, that's a good card. So 
I want to spend some mana. Of course, we can always get Twin Disciplined, and then I'll be like, why did I spend some extra mana? But I want to spend some extra mana before this Thermo Beam. Alright, cool. Does not backfire. But they get, you know, more encroaching mess for later. Add some synergy. Parallel Convergence, go draw a time trick for us. That was logical. Now the time trick can go find the, the Parallel Convergence. Oh, and I don't have the mana to stop this death mark that's about to happen. Well, that's too bad. Don't have the man to stop the death mark. It's like if Hush would stop death mark, then it wouldn't be it wouldn't be ephemeral anymore. The scourge. So our pursuit of perfection is at 8 out of 20. We're running out of ways to kill these Viegos. There we go. Well, I don't have another... Hmm, I want the Supernova, but I guess I don't have another Celestial card. That's the thing, our deck doesn't have very many Celestial cards. Maybe I have to take the Scourge. Yeah, I guess we'll just take the Scourge. Wow, good hand. Double Hydra Vine. That's pretty awesome. Uh, best decks? I don't know. I don't know what the best decks are right now, honestly. I think they have to do with probably, like, Merciless Hunter, like, Treasure Keeper, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner. Probably where they start. Got a 14. Maybe I should block that mountain goat. But yeah, so I'm not exactly sure. Ruination deck? Ah, Black Spear. So we're at 12. I'm giving them priority first to see if they spend mana and stuff. I want I I think I'm gonna be playing the Scourge trying to challenge the Hydra Vine. Fire nothing moves. But who knows, maybe they play Viego. Then we can challenge Viego.
They're doing a good job drawing cards the last few rounds. Glimpse Beyond, and then Spirit Leech, and now another Glimpse Beyond. They're drawing a lot of cards. Okay, so if I attack, let's see, so 5, 7, 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 4 is 22. So 22 minus 13 is 8, 6, 7, 8, yeah. So if I, if I challenge and if I challenge the Scourge, and it's not going to be lethal. Okay, they're also passing priority here with 8 mana. Is it even possible that I should also pass priority? No, probably not. Barrier life steal. Their third clumps beyond. Double the Scourge. This is the atrocity range that I'm getting myself into. That was pretty nice. I've already played a Sump Dredger. Gem is 18, Mystic Shot 19. Mana. <laughs> Go put a two drop into play for another blocker. I think I'm just going to pass around with like this. Viego doesn't level up, they're wasting this mana. Yeah, it's really Hydrovine Viego, yeah, they they had you know double Hydrovine, double Viego. This is basically impossible to stop. Um, they could easily be just holding denies. They're holding denies. You know, GG's I guess.
Why didn't I... Why didn't I just shoot the Viego and then try to shoot the Viego again? Should've just done that. Oh, I did already play a gem this game. I forgot I did play a gem this game. Never mind, that was my plan for that one to be the 20th. Yeah, I mean, they, they play Deny. If they, they have Deny, I lose. So yeah, they, they had it covered the whole time. You know, I mean, it, I think that makes sense. Like, if you go through all that work, you play 20 spells, you get Catastrophe. And then it just gets Denied. Could be focus speed. Yeah, I definitely could have played that game a lot different. I know. I know. I didn't I didn't play it perfectly. Yeah, we're gonna keep these other three. I'm not saying that I did that I when you go through that kind of that long of a game and you lose, you probably made some mistakes. Yeah, I definitely made mistakes. I'm gonna play the Mountain Goat to uh, attack with the Mountain Goat right away to kind of force their hand on, like, maybe blocking. No block. Show them no weakness. Mountain goats get to do some blocking and create and get some gems for me, so never see us coming. It's like next round. Hmm, they have a shape stone. Okay, well I'm still gonna open attack because they do not want to block, I wanna think. Then uh, My name will echo we're gonna play Heimer and get some one ones to block sand soldiers. Just when I need assistance. Require just one point two one gigahexes. Still gotta figure out how to deal with this Green Glade duo. We can at least block Sand Soldiers for a long time. Deal four to a unit. Summon two Sand Soldiers. Do I have anything in my deck that even protects against that? What is what's my deck list? The answer is no, I do not. So Heimer's gonna die. Destiny's Call. Alright, good. Got rid of that thing. Is 
still being real fair. At least his ear's not leveled up yet. How many people had Shadow Shift in the pool of, like, cards that my opponent could have in their hand? <laughs> shadow Shift. Say so that was pretty unexpected. Shadow Shift. Alright, I'm planning on Destiny's, you know, Destiny's called the Zoe, but I guess they have this thing that blocks the Zoe. Seven attackers. Can't block seven things. Oh, Here's the board is infinite. Yeah, it's just hard to design that with, you know, like with them wanting to have mobile and stuff and hard to make it infinite. Alright, maybe I'm not casting Destiny's Call. What do we get? Skies Descend? Good luck with that. Once I stand papers, now faces. Shireen, see what I see. Carry it with you. Emperor, I am on it. Do not behold another celestial. Let's take the living legends. I'm not playing the ignition, so I have one mana for Zoe after attacking. Here, the last card was Shapestone. Two and three. Both wins against Aurelia Zier. <laughs> Alright, so that was Heimer, Zoe, Pursuit. Our deck was okay. You know, like like I mentioned before, there are a million cards you can play in these regions, and so it's difficult to put together. Honestly, the pursuits weren't that good. We we kept on drawing the pursuits early and just couldn't, you know, like and then they would just like be stuck in our hand. Um, but you know, we were able to cycle them away quite a bit with our urchins and some treasures at least yeah lots of cards you can play in these like fall you know like i liked the time tricks if you want to go farther into the predict draw you know you can play like some fallen feline look for those hexite crystals um i've been like there's just so many things that create stuff like i've been very impressed with heavens align these days like so like those are some some good options 
Um, obviously, like Blue Sentinel, Boom Baboon, making those Flame Chompers and discarding them. Uh, if, if you want to do that, Iterative Improvement, Bell Cascade. Basically, everything in these regions just kind of replaces itself, right? And so it's... Uh, you can play all sorts of more invoke cards, right? Like our star shapings weren't very good because we just we weren't able to play the invoke cards because we just didn't have enough um, celestials. Because the only other celestials in our deck were Zoe, and so we just didn't have uh, celestials very often because we didn't have Zoe very often. Um, but that's the thing is like Zoe is incredibly good round one, and and we still went two three even though we never had round one Zoe ever. You know we never had early Zoe, so I think that was still pretty good showing so there we go that's that was just a high Zoe pursuit you could really make this a singleton deck if you want like there are enough good cards for sure everywhere you know i love astral protection i love bastion um like those those kind of four mana spells love solari sunforger and the fangs creating another thing even with the two two it's still really good for this kind of deck obviously you have like sub percival draw on the card um even if you want to have like the cloven way be able to be a stun thing like there's some different like the different targon stun options like the the daybreak one the cloven way to slow the opponent down if you want to go that route you can have envious vox and eclipse dragon create dragons for you i actually really liked true shot barrage earlier so there are a million different ways to play this deck you could really do this in singleton and have a very respectable deck and play you know, Aphelios and Ezreal and Echo and play good, you know, enough good champions, Victor, Vi. Lots of options. Lots of options. Tailor it to how you want to play. All right, but that's going to be it here for Zoe, Heimer, Pursuit. Um, as always, uh, leave those comments, those of y'all watching later on YouTube. Let me know uh, if you got good ideas for Pursuit of Perfection. Um, yeah, let us know in the comment section. And of course, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.